Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lau with Kenshan Crafts, and today I'm going to do my September October currently inked or just October currently inked video for you guys. And this month I decided to go with the autumn theme, obviously. <laughs> I love autumn so much. It is my favorite season. And I just love when the weather shifts from this nice warmth, the summer to the coolness of autumn. And it's just so refreshing to just feel the wind in your face and see the colors of the uh, leaves just changing and you see so many beautiful colors it's just another another excuse to see the rainbow of colors in nature and i love it so much and you get to start to wear nicer warmer clothes um, and I, I just love fall aesthetics so much so for this currently inked i have chosen colors that kind of just tell the story of autumn and so the colors are kind of specific but I try to do as best as I can for the theme that I'm going for here. You can probably already assume what colors I might have so uh, let's get started. For this month I stamped some leaves on here with my uh, rubber stamp and acrylic stand here and just black stamp. Now the, the black ink is washable so I'm just a little afraid that it might smear when I'm um, doing an ink swatch on top of these leaves but I hope it'll be really pretty and I do have eight pens and eight inks but I was only able to fit seven on one side because I did put a header so I'm a little sad that I didn't think ahead of time this might have been better if you know what yeah let me change this a little bit I'll be right back Okay, so I've decided to go with where I made all eight on one side and then the title on the other side so that when I do my ink review, I can just review it on this side, this blank side over here. That way I don't have just one <laughs> random leaf on the other side and the rest of my inks on one uh, another side. This is my setup and I lost some footage, so I've already inked up or like swatched my first one. So I do apologize for that. So the colors that I chose for this month will represent the story of autumn. And this first color is the color for the sky. And I think of a, uh, a starry night sky in autumn is like this lovely blue color and very fittingly the color of this ink is called stars in autumn and i just think it's so pretty and so it's almost like a pastel-y blue but it's a little darker if you have uh, wetter nibs for this ink i have it inked up in my twisby diamond 580 alr prussian blue so i don't use my uh, twisbys often and this one has this anodized ridged grip section here which is very slippery for me i don't quite like that but they are nice writers so this is my twisby diamond 580 alr prussian blue And this is a broad nib, so it handles this shimmer ink super well. So it's it's uh, it's a drier ink, and this really nice juicy broad handles this ink very well. So the ink is wearing gold. Stars in autumn. It's such a beautiful name and such a beautiful color too. It's not like a straight up blue, but it is, like I said, a little bit pastel-y. And uh, the shimmers, and just look at how the shimmers show up in the barrel here. It's just sticking to the wall. It's it's like a starry night sky in my Twisby. So it's so pretty. Very, very cool pairing. The next ink is a green ink and it represents the uh, the leaves that are still very beautiful and green from the summer moving into the fall. This next ink is my Mont Blanc Emerald Green 
this is the one green that I've been looking for for so long and I tried to find it at the San Francisco Pen Show but the lady at Drawn Goals, she told me that they don't carry it anymore and uh, tried to help me find other colors that are similar to it but she couldn't find any <laughs> and I too did not find any that looked similar so I had to get it online and I am in love with this color so much it's such a beautiful emerald green it's super vibrant <laughs> Just vivid emerald colors. Okay. You see that? It's so beautiful. It's definitely got a hint of blue in there. And so that's probably why I love it so much. It's, it's leaning on the teal side. And uh, yeah, this ink does not shade so much. But I'm fine with it. Like, I love inks that I could just legibly read without too much shading going on. I have this green inked up in my Visconti Homo Sapien Bronze Age. So this is my Grail pen from Visconti and it is the 23 karat Palladium Gold Nib. Um, I just love the gold trim against this black basaltic lava bodies. It's it's a very, very smooth pen body, and it's also hydroscopic, so it just absorbs your hand oils and, and sweat and stuff like that. <laughs> so it really becomes your pen. I'm just so happy with it. I did have this ground into a cursive smooth italic fine. However, it is making some weird clicking noises when I write with it. It's the only pen in my collection that does that. So this is my first time experience of clicking sound. And the clicking sound happens because I do have a bit of a harder pressure when I write. Um, not like a terribly hard pressure, but once I'm writing down the pressure from writing and then lifting from my pen causes that clicking. So I think I am going to give this back to CY to fix the grind issue. It's because this nib is a 23 karat palladium nib, it is super soft and flexible. And because of that, when I write, it flexes naturally. And so because of my harder um, handwriting, the tines need to be spread apart a little more for such a very flexible and soft nib. And I think, I think it might have been tuned where it's a little tighter. So I'm just going to have CY open it up a bit. So hopefully this pen won't click on me. I, I just, it, it, it was a very, very uncomfortable sound to me. So this is my Visconti. Sapien. Bronze Age. In cursive, smooth, italic, fine. It still writes moderately wet, so I love that so much. And the ink is Mont Blanc. Green. So beautiful. So the next ink is a green ink as well. This is where the leaves have changed colors a little bit. They're starting to become yellow and it's not as vibrant of a green. And this is Alpha Capricorn from Colorverse. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous ink and it's got like coppery shimmers in it. I'm so obsessed with this color, I love writing with it. So it is a much paler green, um, but coming out of the right nib, it is dark and legible with a hint of that beautiful, beautiful copper shimmer. And I do have this inked up in my Leonardo Memento Zero. This is my Foresta Umbra, which is a gold spot exclusive. And this natural lighting, you can see how gorgeous that earthy tone, uh, these earthy toned colors are on this pen. Absolutely beautiful. And I think that this is the perfect, one of the perfect um, ink pairings for this pen. So this is my Leonardo. Um, 
mento zero. Foresta umbra. Oh, I just love how the shimmer, when they dry, it just, the pop of copper color. It's so beautiful. And I have in here an elastic fine. I did buy this in a fine, but then I also bought an elastic fine ruthenium nib from Endless Pen to swap in because I wanted a thicker tip. And I just love it so much. It's smooth. It is laying down a lot more ink. And so this shimmer is coming up perfectly. So this ink is Colorverse. Alpha Cap, short for Capricorn, and I'm a Capricorn, so <laughs> you can see I'm so happy with this color. I just, I love it so much. This is just that lovely muted forest green, so it's not too dark, and the copper shimmer just makes me so happy. So this is a winner already. <laughs> so the next color in the cycle of autumn is yellow and or yellow orange and i have it uh, my color is that i chose is the pelican edelstein edelstein golden barrel this is just a classic ink classic shimmery gold ink it is so so lovely and well behaving um, this is my second time inking this up and i just am so happy with how it looks this is, it's a yellow base and it's got golden shimmers. It also um, shades into some orange hues. So it's not entirely just one color. It, it is a beautiful shading ink. And I have that inked up in my Leonardo Memento Zero Rangoli. And this is the pen from Pen Boutique. And Rangoli means, or it's the geometric designs that are uh, painted on or drawn on using powder. And it is painted in front of houses during the Diwali uh, or Diwali, celebrating the Festival of Light. And it is painted in front of your doors to bring peace, prosperity, and good luck. So I just love that story attached to this gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful, colorful pen. And so I uh, put in Golden Barrel because it matches this bright orange part really well. And plus, you know, just gold, lots of good luck hoping to come my way, <laughs> you know. Lots of good luck so I can get more pens. Don't we all love more pens? <laughs> okay, this is my Leonardo. Memento Zero. Rangoli. This is a medium nib. So you can see it writes almost like the Elastic Fine. So yes, Elastic Fine from Leonardo's are basically mediums. The ink is Pelican, Edelstein, Golden Barrel. Okay, the, this ink is slightly on the drier side, but uh, it also behaves super well. And I have a medium nib, so I think this should be perfectly fine. Oh, I forgot to do these just to show how wet it is. Yeah, so it's it's fairly okay. Not too wet, not too dry. And this one also is, well, yeah, I think this one is, yeah, it's on the wet side. The next ink will be a red because we have yellow orange here, so the leaves become from a yellow orange to a red. And for that, I have my Colorverse 2023 San Francisco Pen Show exclusive. This is Golden Gate Bridge. So another golden <laughs> ink. And it's a super vibrant, lovely red. Um, for those leaves that are just 
beautiful, vibrantly red, or even, you know, the darker reds, this red ink will resemble those leaves. But it is a very vibrant red, so it's more of a, a red leaf that is still very, very much alive, very much kicking. <laughs> but it's just showing off those beautiful red pigments. This ink does not shade too much, as you can tell. The first pass is pretty saturated. And then I have that inked up <laughs> in my Pokemon Platinum pen. And I decided I'm just going to have this be my pen. I, I did ink it up in my uh, Pikachu pen showcase video. This is the Platinum Pokemon. Fountain pen. This is a fine nib. So it's a little dry because I, I think this platinum pen is a very dry writer, and but the ink is very wet. So I am a little surprised it's that it dried so fast. But I guess that's okay too. It means I won't have any smearing. The ink is color verse. San Francisco Pen Show Exclusive Golden Gate Bridge This is a very smooth writing fine nib so I love it. It goes, the this ink goes down bright red and then it dries slightly darker, but it's still a bright red. It's not like a dark red when it dries. And the next ink is, I didn't think that leaves turn into this color, but they do. And it's it's a form of red where when the, ink, uh, when the leaves are red, they also kind of have this purplish tone and it's such a beautiful purple color and I found I, I it took a while to decide which purple I wanted and I picked Pilot Iroshizuku Yamabudo. It's such a pretty red brown or no, not red brown red purple and it's basically a magenta and I just thought this color really embodies the purple leaves so well and if you love using Yamabudo I think you should you would definitely love using this in autumn or fall and just just look at how that color looks it's it's definitely resembling the beautiful autumn purple leaves and i am here for it the one thing that i've heard about yamabuto is that it's a very very um it, it's it's a high sheen ink plus it also has a really high chance of staining your pens and I do know that, and I noticed that when I painted with it, it's super saturated <laughs> and it, it's hard to clean out my paint brushes. So because of that, I think it is, it does have a chance to stain my pens, but it's okay. Um, I have it inked up in my lovely, lovely Sailor Perger Slim Autumn Drizzle. It's got a lovely finial here. The finial is tr almost transparent, it's a little translucent, and it's a lovely, lovely fall color. It's almost like a calm, uh, muted peach. And it is um, contrasted by this darker purple matte finish body. And I, oh my God, I just love it so much. The, the finial really makes me think of like peach, apricot, um, pudding, you know, those, or those see-through pudding. And it's just, it makes me so happy. Um, this is such a pretty pen and it's part of my Sound of Rain series collection. I do have it all now. I'm so happy. Uh, but yeah, this Sound of Rain series is just my favorite sailors. But this is my pilot, or no, this is my, let's see. I'm just gonna write the ink first. Pilot, Hiroshizuku. Yamabudo. You know what? <laughs> this ink is definitely very, very saturated, very lubricated, and so it comes out super wet and makes this writing experience very smooth. 
miss my sailor. Pro gear slim. Autumn drizzle. This is a medium fine nib. Yep, so it, it's a dry writer for how wet of an ink that is. It um, dried pretty fast. The next ink is where the leaves are reaching the end of their life cycle. It is the duller version of these two. The reds, the orange, the purples, they have become a dimmed down kind of like red orange brown. And that is my beautiful Mont Blanc Petit Prince Red Fox ink. I saw the swatch of this on Mount, Mountain Mountains of Ink and it was like I needed to have it. I had to have it. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. Um, and these Mont Blanc bottles are just so, oh my God, just, uh, it's, it's like high class. <laughs> it's so nice. The, the, the bottle, the lids are big enough to put your pens in and it's very stable. The shape is good. It's not going to tip over like some other ink bottles. Very well pressed. Um, so let's see. All right. This is a really good shading ink. It's a bit on the, it's like a drier ink, therefore it will shade, but it behaves extremely well from my pen. It, is, it doesn't make the pen feel like it's dragging on paper, which is what you what dry inks usually do. But this one has no drag. So for that reason, this Mont Blanc ink is just amazing. And I have that inked up in my Pelican, or Pelican Suiron Black Tortoise Shell. Do you see that? <laughs> the light hit it just right right there and you can see it sparkles like jewelry oh my gosh without this light it's just pretty plain you know the black tortoise shell on this body is pretty plain but oh my goodness <laughs> and for this reason alone besides the nib is worth every penny I spent on it the nib writes so well too Okay, so this is a lovely, lovely pen. It's on the smaller side. My Pelican. Oh gosh, I'm at the bottom now, so it's, I'm not gonna write really well here. Pelican. M605. Black tortoise shell. This is an extra fine. Yeah, it's it's pretty wet for an extra fine, but it is just, it's much wetter with a wetter ink and it's a drier with a dry ink. Um, it's, it's not a nib that will always be wet no matter what ink you put in it. So this is such a lovely, gorgeous red, brown, uh, orange. Mont Blanc, Petit Prince, Red Fox. Ah, so beautiful. Okay, and the last ink here is the end cycle of the leaves that have fallen and they have lost all their nutrients and they have become a brown color. And so for that, I chose the ink that Pam gave me. It's just called Birmingham Fox Squirrel. And if you uh, watch uh, Karina Loves to Plan, she recently did this ink for one of her 30 Days 30 inks. And it's a, it's a very lovely, cooler brown. So um, I have some warm browns, cool browns, regular browns but not a lot of browns overall. And so I just wanted to try this one out. I thought that it fit perfectly into my Pilot Custom 823 Amber. Pilot Custom 823 is just amazing. It feels 
it feels great to write with. It's super comfortable. My The hand cramps that I get from writing with this is minimal compared to all my other pens. And you can see how much of a fill I got in there from just one, uh, one, one time. So I even think that the Pilot Custom A23 has a better fill system than the, my Visconti pen. Granted, my Visconti pen is used, and so it's probably, you know, needs to be relubricated. <laughs> All right, so this is a lovely brown ink. Yeah, it's definitely a, a shading ink. You can see how light that was. And then second pass got a little darker. But browns are just so beautiful. I don't write with browns often, but like, I think I want a bottle of SBRE brown. <laughs> because that brown has a lot of like reds and oranges in it. I love a warm brown. So this cool brown, absolutely gorgeous still. And it, I think it embodies the dead leaves very, very well. This pen is my Pilot Custom 823 Amber and Medium. This medium nib is so broad and so beautifully juicy. It shades so well. Um, let's do this. Yeah, look at how wet that is. <laughs> you love a wet gushing nib. Pilot Custom 823 Medium. Go watch my video about the Pilot Custom 823. Beautiful pen. The ink is Birmingham Pen Company. This is Fox Squirrel. Absolutely beautiful. All right. So there you have it, my rainbow palette <laughs> of, um, you know, just depicting the story of leaves becoming, just leaves traveling to the end of their cycle and giving us a beautiful, beautiful array of colors to look at. And I just appreciate that so much about nature, the colors that we see from their life cycle. Love, love, love this autumn set of pens and ink. All right. Well, those are my pens and my ink for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed swatching and writing with me. And, you know, let me know down in the comments which of these ink pairings you like the most. I, I love them all. <laughs> so that's a silly question for me to ask. Um, but I'm just so excited to be journaling with these colors and just riding through autumn and fall. This uh, lovely season. Thank you so much for joining me uh, on my currently inked video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.